chats here at the Rainbow Cinema in downtown Toronto for the Toronto Youth Shorts Film Festival with Team Merv. Tell me a little bit about how you guys met and how you created your film Culture Shock. Well, we're all uh, we're all film students at, at Humber, so at Humber on the Lakeshore campus for the film media production program, and we're all out of town. Uh, you know, we got Ottawa, you got um, and all over the place, all over Ontario. But uh, we just met a couple months ago. You know, in Res, we're all super, we're a super tight pack, and uh, and yeah, so we just you know we just saw this and we thought, hey, great opportunity, let's do something together. And tell me a little bit about each of the parts you played in the making of the film. Um, I think we equally did a lot of the work, especially because of time limit. Uh, so we had to, you know, sometimes some of us would take a break and others would take on the role. So I, it's kind of hard to put us into different categories for what we did. I think we all equally worked on it. What were some of the challenges in making a film in 24 hours? Uh, the lack of sleep, pretty much. <laughs> that was probably the biggest issue. And uh, driving in the snow, because we kind of had a blizzard uh, during the day. So it was kind of hard to get around, but and the parking you know, ninjas and the, par oh, the right. parking ninjas. Um, we ended up getting two parking tickets actually. Oh, no. Three seconds. Yeah. We left the car for we left the car for like three seconds, yeah. and then and then they like they repel from like the rooftops and give you a ticket that's the, for thirty bucks for going like two feet away from your car. It's it's awful. And did the audience respond how you expected them to? Um, I don't. I don't, I really didn't know what to expect. Like I didn't know what the audience would expect. Uh, I think. The judges got the reaction that we wanted. Uh, yeah. What about you guys? Absolutely. Um, they were. They mentioned ours uh, in the visual thesis, uh, in, in terms of you know, and they really picked up on some of the some of the smaller things that we did in terms of the color palette. You know, going from you know grays to represent sort of like the darkness and you know whatever of the of the day versus like the you know the vividness of the night. And that was really that was really cool to have that feedback. And are you guys going to continue making films as a group? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It was great to work with. All three of you, and um, I definitely want to, you know, do other projects. Um, and it's fun doing stuff outside of school to uh, to get the experience and opportunity. So, and is there a place where we can check out more of your work online? Um, <laughs> Coming soon, maybe. Yes, for sure. Coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much, guys. Congratulations, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman, reporting for Katie Chats here at the Toronto Youth Shorts Film Festival in downtown Toronto.